Chapter 5, Judicial Review and Parliamentary Supremacy. 5.1, An Introduction to Judicial Review. Judicial review means the courts reviewing laws or decisions. The laws or decisions that the courts review are made by parliament, government workers, or public facing bodies. It's different from appealing cases. An appeal is someone asking a judge to re-look at a decision that was made in court. However, judicial review is someone asking a judge to look at a law or a decision that wasn't made in court but that was made by the government or public facing body. A judge can get rid of a piece of secondary legislation or a decision made by a public facing body in court in three different ways. These three ways are, first, if the regulation was made illegally, a judge can get rid of it. Second, if the regulation was made by not following a fair process, it can be gotten rid of. And third, if the decision was made in a very, very unfair way, it can also be gotten rid of by a judge. To explain more about how judicial review works in New Zealand, let's continue to look at the example about the local council and the rubbish bags. Let's say the local council who was allowed to decide on the cost of rubbish bags made a different regulation. Let's say they made a law only allowing the collection of one rubbish bag per household per week. The original statute only said that the council could control the cost of the rubbish bags, not the number of bags that are allowed to be collected in that week. So this regulation would be illegal because the council is making a law that parliament didn't say that they could make. An effective member of the public or the Attorney General on behalf of the New Zealand public could then sue this local council and try to get rid of that law. This is called judicial review because it's asking the judges or the judiciary to review a regulation made by a governmental or public body and say whether it's allowed or not. In this example, a court would say, nope, that regulation is illegal. Parliament only said you could decide on the cost of rubbish bags not the number of bags that are collected every week. We are going to get rid of this piece of legislation forever. 5.2, Parliament is on top. In relation to judicial review, an important thing to remember is that the courts can never get rid of a piece of legislation or a statute made by Parliament. This is because in the hierarchy of the three branches of government, Parliament is on top. The judiciary is therefore lower than parliament in the hierarchy. Parliament is likely on top because they're the elected officials. So it's perhaps the most democratic option for them to be on top. Anyway, this means that the courts can get rid of secondary legislation if the regulations are illegal or didn't follow the right process, or maybe even if they're very unfair, but they can never get rid of a statute from parliament. If we compare this to the US, in the US, a any piece of legislation made by their government is against the country's constitution, the judges in the Supreme Court can get rid of that law. So their judges have more power than their government. This is different to New Zealand. 5.3. Parliamentary law trumps case law. There's one more important thing to mention. Law that comes from parliament is always on top of case law. This is a game because parliament is the top branch of government in New Zealand. So if a judge makes a decision in the court that creates a new law, parliament could make a statute the following day and override that case law. Statutes win the battle every time. 5.4, summary. To summarize what we've learned in this chapter, first, the courts can get rid of a piece of secondary legislation or other decisions made by public facing bodies in three ways. First, if the regulation was made illegally. Second, if it was made by not following a fair process. And third, if the decision was very unfair. Two, statutes can never be gotten rid of by the courts. This is because parliament is on top in New Zealand. It's the number one government actor, making it supreme to the judges. Three, also, since parliament is supreme, statutes always come on top of case law.